In the midst of the Derek Chauvin trial for the murder of George Floyd, I bring you another police scandal. State police raided the workplace of 17 of their colleagues, members of a task force, and also the homes of four of these officers for the theft of 70,000 shots worth of ammunition for assault rifles and machine guns. The officers in question apparently used the ammunition to pay off a company by the name Baltic Shooters as a thank you for conducting a training exercise at a shooting range in another state. All 17 officers were involved in the training exercise. The shooting range in question appears to have been used by police officers by from that state as well as a frequent place for well, training exercises. Problem is both the company Baltic Shooters and the owner of the shooting range Frank T are connected to the right-wing extremist hate group North Cross. Frank T has also already been on an investigation by the his local district attorney's office for selling a gun potentially illegally to the Secretary of State of his home state. Now the Secretary of State of the state in question with the police scandal has ordered to disband the task force and re to rebuild it on from scratch and has only talked about potential actual change in personnel for the leadership of the state police. If you're now wondering why the Secretary of State would be involved in this, it's because we're talking about two German states, not American states. The states in question are Sachsen and Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. The task force is stationed in Dresden and the shooting range is located in Güstrow in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. And the uh, interior minister who bought a weapon from a neo-Nazi was Lorenz Kaffier of the CDU who stepped down last year due to the scandal. And while I welcome uh, Wölners, that's the interior minister of Sachsen, uh, his uh, statement about disbanding the MEK, that's the task force, and rebuilding it from scratch. What I find troubling here is that we still don't really know, or there is no actual talk about finding out what attracts these kinds of people to work for the police. As I said in my video about not equating left-wing and right-wing extremism, the right-wing has access to institutionalized power or actually owns institutionalized power by becoming members of the security state apparatus to which the police obviously belongs. And in order to figure this out, or actually figure it out instead of just guessing, we could use an actual scientific study into the subject matter. Something people, including the German police union, have been asking for for quite some time. But uh, the superior head of all German police, the Federal Interior Minister of Seehofer, has been blocking an in-detail in investigation or scientific study into this subject matter of racism and extremism within the German police force. His argument for a long time was, that's illegal, hence it doesn't happen. One well, of the dumbest excuses ever. And while he has changed course a bit and kind of agreed to have a limited study, a limited look at these problems, what we need is a full scope investigation. And for that, you need an independent uh, committee to conduct that. This criminal investigation that's right now going on and is headed by the General Attorney's Office or Attorney's General Office of Sachsen is conducted by the AK, the, cr uh, the criminal state police. But the MEK was located in the state police. So colleagues are directly investigating colleagues. Since the investigation was caused 
war Investigations of the District Attorney's Office in Schwerin in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. Maybe the police in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern should investigate this. If they weren't also involved in it, which, as I said, police from Mecklenburg-Vorpommern uh, are also known to use the same Nazi shooting range as the MEK from Dresden did. Again, showing we need a completely independent oversight um, body for police that investigates in these kinds of cases. And such a body should also conduct or at least assist an actual scientific inquiry into problems of extremism and racism with the police force. So we can really know where the problem lies and how to solve it. Because as much as I would say yes, abolish the police. I don't, first of all, I don't think we can get a democratic majority to agree to that idea. And I also don't think that we can go without a criminal investigatory body. Murder will still happen, rape will still happen, and we need some kind of law enforcement body that investigates these things. We can call it something different than the police, but we can't just abolish the entirety of law enforcement. And if so, uh, that means we need to know how to organize the aspects of law enforcement we actually need in a way so that they don't become a danger to civil society. Because having right-wing extremists within the police force or sympathizers with right-wing extremism within the police force is a clear and present danger to civil society. No ifs or buts about it.